just want to react to what some of the issues raised by members of the opposition yesterday when I tabled the bill, Sarawak Multimedia Authority Bill. Several points I'd like to clarify. I think it may have been quite well covered in the English press, but not in the Chinese press. I, I read the both Sihua, Xinjiu and so on. Number one is the point raised by Ali Abu for Quota Sentosa. He said, why am I not appointed the chairman of the Sarawak Media Authority? Why CM and not me? He alleged that either CM wants to sapu everything or CM has an agenda or I'm not qualified to be the chairman. That is the issue raised. And it was highlighted by some of the Chinese press without my answer. Actually, I answered this question during the debate time. What I say is this, that Chief Minister is the Chief Executive of the state. He is elected through democratic election to become the chief executive. He is in charge. He is the person who has to be held responsible for what the state government is doing. And mind you, Ali Ambohoma for Kota Sentosa is so ignorant about the cabinet lineup. You remember the cabinet lineup? CM is in fact the Minister for Digital Economy and Communication. This is gazetted on 22nd May 2017. He has that important portfolio under him. Digital economy and communication. My portfolio of e-commerce is only a small portion of it. Ali Amboma Pokota Sintosa said, why not me? Since I'm in charge of e-commerce, why CM? be made the chairman. He forgot. He is not aware or he is totally ignorant of the position held by CM. CM's portfolio is all encompassing, covering all. And this is for digital, for Surawat development through digital economy. And so, Rightfully, CM has to be the chairman and not me. Please clarify that. Yeah. As I say, he's a chief executive, he's in charge. He has to be responsible for all that uh, he is doing. This is point number one. Number two, a, a, a point raised by Ali Ambohoma for Padungan. He said, why himself being the chairman and again in a bill I say there are other members who are the experts who are the who are well versed in the field of digital economy to be appointed as members of the of the board, CM being the chairman. He say is CM qualified, a qualified person and so on. Again, the same answer. 
he has to be held responsible. He he can he can refer he can refer matters to the advisors, to the consultants, and and so on. That is what he has been doing. You see, I emphasize in my debate. I say, in this world, in any of the human endeavors, we have to emphasize three C's. One C is concept, the other two is competence, third C is connection. Concept means the best idea, knowledge and skills. If you want to be competent, the second C, you must get the best knowledge, get the best ideas and the best skills to do your job. And that is why CM travelled the world, visiting here and there, particularly Estonia and so on. Connection. He wants to connect himself to the best people, to the best organisation, to the best countries. That's how it works. He being the chairman, he can consult, he can get advisors to advise him. But he has to be responsible because he is the chief executive. He, he is answerable to the people, he is ac accountable for what he is doing. So this, I talk about these three C's, concept, competence and connection. Uh, this is what CN is doing. He wants to connect himself to various, the best people, the best organizations. And so, as what is suggested by Ali and Bromar for Pudungan, you leave it to the advisors, leave it to the consultant. Cannot do that. We can consult, but to execute matters must be the chief executive, namely CN being the chairman of the multi-media authority.